Hello everybody, welcome back. Today's video has two possible titles, so hopefully you'll get the gist of it when I say that today I wanted to show you some of the products that I always use in my daily life, but I never talk about or show in my videos. And alternatively, these could also be all of the items that just make my daily life better, whether it be more efficient, cleaner, just better in general. These are a ton of products that I always have on hand around me, around my person, around my house, and I use all the time, but they just don't get the love and the mention that so many things do get on my YouTube channel. So without further ado, here's products that I use all the time. Now we talk a lot about wellness and exercise and hawker winter things here on my channel. So I simply must mention my heating pad to you. This little, it looks disgusting. I don't know. It looks like it has seen many lives and that's probably because it has, but <laughs> I get a lot of neck and back pain, a lot of shoulder pain, just kind of pain everywhere. I'm constantly sore and I also sit like this all day long on my phone and on my computer. So this heating pad gets a lot of love. I often lay flat on my back on this. I will put it on the couch and lay on it. Just some kind of heating pad to help with my constant soreness um, in this old age of mine. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm young forever. We're so youthful. Uh, yeah, this heating pad, I think I got it off of Amazon. I'll try and find it below, but any heating pad. Oh, Sunbeam, it's a Sunbeam heating pad. Always crank it up to high and it saves my back. <laughs> The next item is something that I have on me and it's probably my most important object in my life because sleep is king and it's very important to me that I have a very good and thorough restful sleep and you can't see her but she's right there. My little kitty cat loves to scream at me all night long. So I started wearing earplugs in the night while I sleep, especially actually when we lived in the city back in Toronto, there was always construction, something, so much noise going on all the time and it would always wake me up. I had terrible sleeps because of it. And I started sleeping with earplugs and now I can't sleep without earplugs. I kind of ruined myself because now if there's any noise, I'm too used to the silence that I have to sleep in earplugs at all times. So I've used the Bose Sleep Buds, which I think they discontinued the versions that I had before. I've tried a variety of different ones, but these ones I got off of Amazon and they're the Loop earplugs. And I'm gonna, you know, do a little close up here for you. And what's fabulous about these is that they sit flush to your ear and they don't fall out. Oh my God, it's completely like, I have used the machine noise canceling earplugs. These are completely, I am deaf. I'm now deaf in one ear. Anyway, they sit flush to your ear so they don't fall out in the night, which happens so often, especially if you're a side sleeper, if you're tossing and turning, these stay in. They have been a magical discovery. If you struggle with noise when you're asleep, if you want earplugs for the airplane, these have been amazing and I cannot live or sleep without them. <laughs> I wanted to mention my air tags to you because we are an air tag household. I think we probably have six or seven between my husband Dan and I, and we keep one on our keychain here because we don't want to lose our keys, but I also use them in all of our luggage. I don't necessarily need a separate one for my purse because my keys go in my purse, but when we travel, I always keep them in the luggage and we can see exactly where the luggage is, and that's very helpful. Also, when we moved, we put air tags in various boxes of our things so we could track our moving <laughs> just in case anything was stolen. It was very nice to have that peace of mind, but air tags are a blissful part of our everyday life, especially if you are someone who is constantly losing things. Pop an air tag in it. We were thinking of getting Meryl a little air tag collar just so we can see where she roams when she goes outside. So air tags everywhere and on all of our things in our house. Let's talk about a couple of technology things. I want to tell you about this little OctoBuddy thing. If you've been on the internet, then you have definitely seen this somewhere. It's all the rage all over TikTok, and I didn't really understand it at first, but now I understand. Now, the OctoBuddy is amazing. It's this little sticky thing that sticks on the back of your phone case, and it sticks to any surface. It's incredible. I kind of didn't believe it at first. I was like, there's no way that this is going to stick to everything, but it really does stick to everything. And obviously, this is amazing for me as a content creator because I can put this up on my mirrors, on my walls, on my windows and just very easily take videos and photos and things. But even if you're not a content creator, this is really nice. If you're just someone who like drops your phone a lot or if you just wanna be watching YouTube videos or watching Netflix, it's kind of a nice way to get away with putting your phone up wherever it can stick to anything, it even sticks to your water bottle when you're working out. It's just come in handy in so many different scenarios. The most recent one, I realized that this can stick to the airplane screen on the back of the seat. So if I'm not watching the movies that are like on the airplane, I've downloaded all my own entertainment and I don't wanna sit like this or like this the entire time. I stick it on the screen and it stays the entire flight. It's incredible. I will say I did try the dupe one. It didn't work. I got rid of it instantly. I did get the OctoBuddy one and I have this solid little rectangle one. I also bought the little individual squares so they can be 
cute. That might be the next one I use. Uh, but yeah, the OctoBuddies are fantastic and I haven't been without it since I, I tried it. It sticks to everything. Now for screens, there are many different versions, many varieties of screen wipes that you can get, but our phones are disgusting. Oh my God, phones, iPads, computer screens, nasty. Like this is constantly touching my face and my hands and we're so filthy and disgusting. And I always keep little screen wipes around. And I bought these, I think I got them at like Nordstrom Rack or something. They had a big box of these at the checkout once, but little screen wipes we kind of keep in various places around the house. And I keep these little packs when I am traveling or in my purse carrying around with me and just try to keep your screen clean because that can get nasty, <laughs> nasty. A couple of content favorites that I use every day. And again, even if you aren't a content creator, maybe you're an aspiring content creator or you just like taking photos and videos of your family and friends. These come in handy. This little tripod right here. Oh baby, I got one on a brand trip once and was amazed and did buy a backup to have in the house. This is the Atum Tech. Got it on Amazon. I have a black one and a white one and it's an extendable tripod that holds your phone. This is just fantastic. I use this every day for filming my content and even if you wanna do group photos, it's perfect. It also has a remote. I've never successfully used the remote, but you can do that. I don't even know where it went, but it's a great handy tripod to have around if you're looking for a phone tripod. Love this one so much. And then this light right here, like again, there's so many different variations of lights and tripods. You can find whichever one suits your fancy, but I, I just have to say that this little light right here, wow. It has been around the world with us. It is an aperture light. This has the power of the sun. I don't know how else to describe how bright this thing gets and what a difference it makes in your photos and in your videos. And it's so nice when we're traveling and we have like a really dark hotel room or it's just the winter time. It's rainy and dark and sad. You don't have a lot of natural light in your house and you have Zoom meetings. This has been so, so fabulous. It also came with a little diffuser, which is really nice. I live for this thing. You can adjust the temperature, you can adjust the strength of the light. It is amazing and it goes everywhere with me. Now I have recently become a Kindle girly and I love my Kindle and I love to travel with it and that has been lovely. But when I'm at home and if I'm just reading a good old classic book, I always have a reading light with me because sometimes the big lights can be too big. Even my bedside table lamp can be a little bit too bright and I really am trying to focus on my sleep and getting amazing sleep and winding down at night. And sometimes if my light's too bright, I just like don't get sleepy, I stay awake. So having a lovely little tiny dim light, first of all, does not disrupt my my partner sleep beside me and it's just a lot less intense. So I find I just fall asleep better and faster by using this lovely little reading light. And this one in particular clips to my book. So I actually use it to hold the page, which can be really nice when you're trying to get comfortable and reading in your bed. I really want one of those stands that like holds the book for you on the side of your bed. I think that would be incredible, but this is nice. Very, very handy for when I'm reading a book in bed. Now this isn't a singular product in particular, but just in general, hand and nail care. I dedicate a lot of focus and time and products to keeping my hands and my nails moisturized really, because I just have really dry hands. My cuticles can get really, really nasty if I'm not constantly keeping up with it. So at my bedside table, in my kitchen, various rooms around my house, bathroom, in my car, in my purses, I always have a hand cream with me. Here is a variety of hand creams that I have, as well as a cuticle oil that I keep on my bedside table. I just like to be hydrated at all times. I also keep a little spray hand sanitizer, which I am currently out of, but just cleanliness and hydration in the hand and nail category is just a constant need for me. And I always have a hand cream on hand, always. <laughs> if you have followed my channel for a long time, then you will absolutely know this is coming because this is something that I typically mention during the summertime. If I do a little summer essentials video, I have always thrown in my Vahudinus wipes. Uh, yeah, I keep, I keep Vahoon wipes on hand at all times. Uh, it's helpful, it's very helpful, but also if you are prone to bladder infections, you wanna bring these with you when you're traveling in the summertime when it gets hot and sunny out there. If you're going out and about after the gym, you just wanna, it's just sometimes nice to have an option. I used to also buy the body wipes. I haven't seen them around lately. I haven't been able to buy them, but vag wipes, body wipes, just some kind of cleansing wipe for the body is nice in st sticky situations. <laughs> Now, speaking of that in the nether regions, uh, this is not something that I can take off the toilet and show you, but uh, we have a bidet that we have attached to our toilet. And this is actually something that Dan's sister got him for his birthday two years ago. And it has lived in our bathroom ever since. And it is such love. I'd actually like to put one on all of my toilets. And I don't know why I've never used a bidet before. Perhaps someday if, if the scenario allows, I can actually get like one of those, you know, real bidet full toilets where it just like, 
lifts up the lids, got a little heated toilet seat, you got all the options, but for now, uh, she got Dan a tushy for his birthday two years ago, and it has been incredible. I have had the cleanest butt that I have ever had over the last two years, and it's something that I never talk about, I never show you guys, but I don't, I don't understand how it works because we literally just plugged it into our toilet, but we got a little knob and we do a little bloop. <laughs> the last time that I personally used a bidet was when I was 10 years old. We lived in the Maldives and all toilets came with a little hose. You had a hose and you had a little towel and you just hosed yourself down and patted yourself dry and that was how they cleaned themselves. It is so, so much more clean. I don't know why this isn't the norm for us here in Canada. Maybe it is and I just haven't noticed it, but I've never seen a bidet like in public. It's usually only at the fanciest hotels, but we've been missing out and it is something that we use in our household and we love it so, so much. I wanted to mention my hair elastics to you because I have tried many a different hair elastic and scrunchie in my lifetime. And these two, in my humble opinion, are the best, especially if you're concerned about hair health and breakage. These two right here, first of all, get yourself a silk scrunchie. If you work out a lot, you don't want to ruin your hair in general. You don't want to ruin your hair in between wash days. Keeping a nice, loose, soft, slippy, silky scrunchie on hand is very important. I have the slip silk ones. These are amazing. I have uh, an abundance of them. They're in every crevice around my house. And I I always have one on hand, but my silk scrunchie. And then these ones, these little hair ties, they're so soft, they're so stretchy, they don't break my hair, and they hold my tight ponies. I love these so much. I got a huge pack of them on Amazon. I have no idea what they're called. I don't know what type of thing this is. It looks like literally a cut piece of fabric, but these are so, so great. <laughs> and if you're an updo girly, just know these are my favorite. They are so good. I did want to mention to you my dental floss because this is something that you may or may not know about me. I am obsessed with teeth and like keeping my teeth clean. I cannot function as a human being if I have something stuck in my teeth. I have dental floss with me at all times and I am an avid flosser. I care deeply about my teeth health and, and keeping them fresh and keeping them clean and free of all the gunk. So I always have dental floss with me. This is my little tub that I keep on my bathroom sink and I have these little picks and I have a little pick or dental floss as I need it and I am constantly flossing. Actually, the last dentist I went to said that I should consider flossing less. I don't know if I believe her because as far as all of my checkups and up-to-date scans and things, I got great gums. I got great healthy gums and great healthy teeth. And don't forget to floss, people. People who don't floss, I actually don't understand. It's like, it is an obsession of mine. I have you to thank for the next thing, but if you are someone like me who suffers from red eyes, Oh, I suffer from dry eyes deeply, but very, very red eyes when I'm tired, when I'm sleepy, when I'm just existing in my daily life. My eyes are always red and it looks like I do so many drugs and it's so rude. <laughs> My eyes are always red no matter what, and so many of you had recommended the Lumify eye drops to me, and these have been a lifesaver, life changer. Thank you so much to everybody who recommended these. They are amazing, and they take all of the redness away, not only on your eyeball, but also in your waterline. When it is necessary for me to look pure and clean and have white eyeballs, this has changed my life and done just that, so this gets lots of love from me. <laughs> The final object I wanted to mention to you is my Apple Watch strap. And I've been getting so many questions about this over the last few weeks and months because we have entered our walking pad lifestyle in this household. And Dan had the brilliant idea to put the Apple Watch strap onto our ankles so that it could be a little bit more accurate when we're doing the indoor walking because usually the Apple Watch is pretty good about tracking your steps when you're out and about and getting movement on the map. You know, it actually tracks where you're going. But when you're inside, we just find that it can be a little bit more accurate on your ankle. So we bought extra long straps. Dan got these on Amazon and I can wear it on my wrist or it fits around my ankle. So I don't actually know which one he bought. I will link the one that he purchased for us down below, but this has been the Apple Watch strap that I've been using. And so many people ask me if I'm on house arrest, which is hilarious. I know it can look very strange and sometimes I'm too lazy to take it off and I continue wearing my <laughs> Apple Watch on my ankle in public and that can look hilarious too. But it's also been very nice having the option for when I wanna wear my fancy girl watch. If I'm getting dressed up for events and things and I want to be a little bit more fancy and dressed up, I can still track my steps by wearing this on my ankle and it's discreet. I can tuck it into my boots. I can wear my long pants and I'm still I'm still keeping my heart rate going, which has been very nice and game changing for, for keeping up with the steps tracking. So that's the extra long Apple Watch strap, not a house arrest band. Thank you very much.
And those are all of the products that I wanted to mention to you today, fam. Some of the things that I use on an everyday basis that don't get any love from me here on my YouTube channel. And some of these things are very life-changing for me and make my life better and easier as a whole. So I would love to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think of the products that decorate my everyday life? <laughs> and please let me know what some of the products that you can't live without are in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much as always for watching. And I'll see you all soon for a new one. Bye!